Welcome to the AACS Daily News for March 29, 2017. Area residents could bid on a number of unique items Monday as the Attleboro Rotary Club held their 60th Rotary Auction. And we spoke with organizer Jerry Hickman to learn more. This is our 60th auction. Uh, it started quite a while ago and back then it was rotary telephones and people uh, calling in, it was on the radio. Uh, eventually moved into uh, the uh, cable when cable came on, uh, uh, and uh, but we still had the rotary phones and and people with the show itself would be uh, shots of Rotarians sitting on the floor taking little cards and passing them forward and then putting them in a, in racks along a, um, a board for each segment. Now what we've decided that we sort of changed it around so that it's almost like uh, a, a Jerry Lewis telethon without Jerry Lewis. So that we, we take time to tell people what Rotary does and to focus and highlight the organizations that we make donations to. So we talk about Rotary, talk about what we do, and then we also try to push various items that we're trying to get bids on, encourage greater bidding. Our purpose as Rotarians is to want service above self, and part of that is to give back, invest money in our community. Uh, whether it be in grants that we give to a nonprofit organization, or whether it be things like scholarships or uh, an event like we have this spring fling. So last year in 2016, we uh, invested over $50,000 in Attleboro Norton area um, from places for like the Y, or the Literacy Center, or the Community DNA, um, the seniors, the high schools, and. Um, we do that because, because we raise funds, and, and the Rotary Auction is our biggest fundraiser. We're hoping to clear about $25,000 here tonight, and that would be roughly about half of what we raise each year. The most important thing is you wouldn't have an auction if we didn't have the donors. That's where it all starts. So we have to really give a big shout out to the many, many people who generously donated, whether it was gift cards or whether it was their services. It's very, very important. And, and then there are the people who bid. So we, the, we all come together. It's sort of like a, a consortium of folks who, who come together in order to make this a very successful fundraiser. And I believe it's going to be a very successful fundraiser. The Triborough Lions Club held their annual pancake breakfast on Sunday. We spoke with some of the Lions to learn more. I'm Doug Reinbold, president of the Triborough Community Lions, and we're at the Attleboro Elks today for a pancake breakfast to raise funds for our, our charities. Today we have uh, pancakes, sausage, corned beef and hash, beans, and eggs to order. The money we raise usually goes to help out people for eyeglasses and hearing aids. We do uh, donations to Mass Lions Eye Research and we help out some members of the communities with special requests that come to our club. And uh, we, do, we do just do a lot to help out uh, the blind and hearing impaired. Everybody here is a volunteer. Everybody here is a member of the Lions. And we have our Leo's Club, which is a high school group of uh, about four or five girls from that club coming, doing a bake sale and running our eggs to and from and cleaning up the tables. The difference with our club is we're a mixed club. Most Lions clubs are either men and women, or men or women, and we are a men and women's club. So, you know, we have couples, like my wife is a member, and uh, Eric's girlfriend is a member, so we get to spend time together while helping people. We were lucky because taking over for the Adderall Lions Club, they had a good clientele, and it has seemed to grow, and we serve roughly over 100 people here today. You know, the, the response is great from the people. Uh, obviously, we like to have as many people as possible, but the people that do come always seem to have a good time. We have a website for the Triborough Community Lions. If you just Google Triborough Community Lions, you can see our stuff. Uh, we also do uh, one with North Attleboro. We do it with the North Attleboro Elks uh, in the fall. We usually do it about Christmas time. Well, we also have a beer and wine tasting in the fall. It's usually at Stony Leaf Golf Course. Uh, we bring in several different types of beer. Uh, we have uh, pizza and wings from the Boneyard. And uh, Ray's daughter is a winologist. She brings in multiple different wines and we're trying some other stuff. We've done comedy nights and uh, we've done blind walks for people to experience what visually impaired people do. So we're looking forward to different things.